Page 17, Modern Sounds. Now on page 14, they talk a little bit about theory. You see, we have all these notes in a scale. I'm going to use the C major scale as an example. We already know they're numbered, and I call them step numbers, or steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, steps. Step one, step two, whatever. Well, here they're talking about the median. The median is in between or in the middle of the tonic and the dominant. In between them, this note, that's the median. It's, it's the third step of a scale. Median. Don't call it a median chord very often. Actually, I've never called it a median chord before. I've only had dominant chords. Or maybe a subdominant chord. As long as you know what they are. That's what we are. So we have tonic, dominant, subdominant, median. We'll get to the others a little later on. You can read all about it and what they have to say about it. That's great. I'm no big deal. Then in addition, we have the submedian. Now you think, okay, if a median here, a submedian is here. Now, it doesn't work that way. It's too straightforward. You're, you're thinking logically. Stop it. You've got to think musically here. The submedian is halfway between the subdominant and the tonic. It's right there. It's right above the dominant. Dominant. Submedian. Now, does that make sense or what? Now, these other keys we'll cover a little later on. I need you to have some time to recover from this mess before we go on. So, just know that tonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian. But I don't know how helpful they're going to be for you, but there they are. There, yeah, that's it. I do want to talk about modern sounds because we have a lot of dissonance and I think that's what they're referring to by modern because a lot of modern music has a lot of dissonance in it. Not all, but a lot of it does. I mean, you get blues and jazz, lots of dissonance, but it's not bad sounding stuff. It's just really nice. Well, look at this uh, right here in both hands. They're using four and two on everything. That's kind of fun. Not how I would recommend fingering it, but that's what they're doing, so that's what we'll do. Four and two on each hand. Isn't that a lovely sound? Now we're going to keep this type of sound throughout this whole thing. It's great. Don't you just love it? And this, you just keep moving around. How you manage this is up to you. If, if trying to do this and keep track of both hands and everything going on at once is a bit much, there are ways you can approach it that might help. It might confuse you, it might help, some people help, some people confuse us. I'll go ahead and throw it out there and then you can use what you can use and disregard what you don't want. But what I do is I aim one finger, keep my hand in the position, and everybody should go along for the ride. So let's say I aim the fourth finger, then here, the index finger goes along for the ride. Well, if both hands are doing the same thing, which they are here, then maybe I can keep both hands together and I'll just let the left hand follow the right, here. So I'll just let the left hand follow. It takes a little practice and you certainly go, don't go that fast. Take it slowly. Where am I? Here? And here? I'm using the wrist here. I'm just, it's like a, a wrist staccato, but it's not staccato. I don't bounce off. I'm, I'm playing it, but I'm just doing it at the wrist. Throughout this piece, whenever you get that, that's the approach that I can use. I mean, you can aim any finger you want. You can use either hand. I could, I could aim, let's say, the index finger in the left hand. And just let the others go along. You have to pick which finger you want to use, and I would recommend as a practice, you pick all four. Do one at a time, but use all four and see how it goes. It's good practice. And that's, for the most part, that's this piece. 
not total. I mean, the left hand's doing some other things, but if you just follow their fingerings, you'll be fine, I think. Now they've added pedal. It's uh, the first line, uh, the first two lines, you're not pedaling everything. You're just pedaling some, but the last two lines is legato pedaling. And I, I don't know that I really want to change it. I do want to change it. I won't. We'll just go ahead and do the legato pedaling like they've got. And then at the DC Alfini at the bottom takes you back to the top, and the Fini is the end of the second line. So I'm going to play this slowly. If you want to play along, go ahead if you want to hear it. They have notes here at the top, key of C major here. Those sharps are flat. Then two lines down, it goes into the relative minor. Still no sharps or flats, but that's where you are. Remember the G sharp and A minor? You're going to get a lot of G sharps when you're in A minor. Dynamics, not a lot going on on dynamics, but it applies to the melody, wherever that is, if you can figure it out. I'm going to pretend the melody is more like the top note in the right hand and go with that. Try and keep everything else down. And then the top note, yeah, top note in the right hand if you can. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Just try and play the right notes at the right time. There's a little retardando at the end of the second line after you DC. I'm going to ignore that because I'm playing with a metronome. I can't retard it. One little thing about the pedaling I want to mention is this last measure of the second line. They're showing the pedal all the way to the end of the measure. I disagree. To me, that's just plain incorrect. I want to hear the rest. So at the end of the third count, that is when the fourth beat starts, the hands come up, the pedal comes up with the hands. So that, yeah, I want to hear a beat rest in there. Now there is a note at the top of this under the moderato, second time both hands 8 VA. So at the bottom, when you DC Alfine and you're here, instead of coming here, we're going to come up here. And both hands. If it didn't have both hands on that, you just do the right hand. So I'm going to give myself four counts. I'm going to play it. If you want to play along, go ahead. It says moderato. Now you have to decide what a moderate speed is. One, two, three, four. About as fast as I've been playing, I think. I'm going to go slower than that, though. One, two, ready, go. Thank you. 